Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So we're in the process of making, if I remember rightly, some holes, iron holes. So let's carry on with that. I think I've got enough materials now to complete that. So what we need was holes. And I've actually got set up a, a recipe. We need 64. We've got 42. So let's say we want and therefore we need to another craft another 12 of these. Let's just click that on and say 12. Nope, let's cancel that. It's 22 I need, isn't it? Let's do that again. Craftable. So we've got 704 of everything, so we can start that. So that's going to go over and be sent over to... Oh, it looks like it's actually even ticked on and started to work from last time. Yeah, indeed it has. So we shall, in a short while, get all of these holes. So while that's doing that, Let's have a look at what else we need to do. One thing we need to do is to be able to craft some, I think it was advanced circuits. So let's have a look what we've got to do for advanced circuits. Can't spell again. I really can't spell, look at that. I will type anyway. This one. So for this one we need lapis lazuli plate. That isn't too difficult. And aluminum block. Now aluminum blocks made from lumin ingots, which is made from aluminum dust. Is there another way to can we mine chem this stuff? I think we can. Yes we can. Tin, silver and phosphorus. Phosphorus comes from glowstone. Okay, so we should also be able to make that directly i'm just wondering how much we need we need lots so really this needs to be a, set a separate process so it downstairs we've got tin we just need some silver and some phosphorus which is basically decom so we need two decomposers i'm not sure we need to be composers we've got four plenty okay and a synthesizer so that isn't going to be too much of a problem to do let's have a look what else do we need we need certainly the rationing pipes and Transfer nodes. One rusting pipe will do, yes, I think so. And some ordinary pipes. We got some of those. What I haven't looked up is this hyper rationing pipe. I made one for fun to see what it was does, and I haven't figured out what it does yet, so <laughs> that's hmm, a bit not perfect. Well we'll also take with us what else do we need to do that stuff? We should need some export ducts. We need some export fluid export. No, we need fluid export for which one? Silver. Import buses. Well, we've got five. That's plenty. I think that's probably all we need. We've got cable down here and stuff like that. So let's go and carry on and do that downstairs. Well, I should be able to simply extend this block around, shouldn't I? Because as you see now, this processing, everything's full. So we've managed to automate those quite nicely so what else I need to do is I need to bring into here if we can see it yeah we probably just do it at the end here let's just do one of these at the end so we bring across two and then we just bring the pipe down underneath here as well the well, pipe the wire aluminium wire I think that's where it goes This won't be a fast process because when I bring, I'm going to take it out of here like this. I want to do that. It's going to take a while before the silver gets into this, but we don't need much silver. That's also not too bad. So let's put the decomposer down here. And on top of that, we need a export, a fluid export for silver. I'm oh, sorry, I just slipped the right one, didn't it? There we go. So now we can get silver working out of here, and then we can take this out of here in the same way as we've done everything else. So let's just take a, a transfer node on that. And we can then join those up. I think they'll just join up like normal, in fact. Let's just move that out of the way and bring that across here like this. So we really want to go up, don't we? So if I click it on there like that, then I should be able to bring it across fairly easily. Yeah good stuff 
In fact, this one sort of seems to be getting in the way, this cash, but it's going down fairly fast as it happens. Magnesium oxide. I'm not quite sure why it's going down so fast. Um, it is going down, isn't it? Yes. So, the next thing we need to do is put another synthesizer here. Let's put another synthesizer on the front of this. So let's bring this across here. Um, let's just put a pipe. Let's put a pipe here. It doesn't matter what I do, really. I know it's connecting, but what we want to do is to put the synthesizer here. So we've got a chemical synthesizer. And that's on number seven. Like that. Then I can break this pipe. Don't need this pipe in front of it like that for the time being, anyway. So what we want on top of this is a rationing pipe. So I'll better put a rationing pipe on first. It's going to get stuff into this. No, it won't, actually. Yes, it will. Of course, it will get stuff in. It's not like that. It'll be getting stuff in from here, whatever it's getting carbon at the moment. So let's we have to hit this and change it so it doesn't go into that. There we go. But everything else will come into here, so that's not too bad. So we're going to get iron oxide, we're going to get carbon. If we could take out a stack of carbon, because we don't need that in there. And it'll and it'll get everything else, I think. There's no reason why it shouldn't get the tin as well. It'll take long it'll take longer for the tin to find its way there. Okay, carbon, we want steel. I think steel was being made in this one here, so I can put the extra carbon in here. Like that. As you see, it will be fine. So basically, it's just steel and iron that we actually use in this one. That's gross. Sorry, steel and copper. No, carbon. So all we now need to do is to get that silver from up there. And a book. So we need to make some. Let's get some silver. Where is it now? We want a bucket of silver. Silver is molten nickel, molten gold, molten shiny, molten silver. So we can take this downstairs and that should then give us everything that we need, I think, for this process to start actually doing some work for us. So we just come around here, put that into there, and then we should get silver into this and it should start to come out as bottles, which it is. Well, it could even extend that and do gold as well for that matter, because gold's another thing. Silver and gold make uh, signal them, isn't it? Well, no, it's not signal them, it's the other one. Let's put that back, we don't need that anymore. Electrum, I think, is gold and silver, isn't it? Actually, let's do that, let's get a bucket of gold in there. Oh, well, I'll have to wait, because we've got no gold in, in the system at the moment. Um, right. So, what else do we need? We need a, we need another chemist journal, I think. This one might not have any recipes in it. It isn't good. So this is a blank one. So what we can do is now make some some a signal uh, aluminum. So let's make aluminum ingots. So we need tin. We should probably got enough in here if we're not, not too mistaken. Tin. I don't see any tin. Silver. We should have some silver in AG. I can't see AG. Quite hard to see, aren't they, when you look at it like that. Oh, that's AG silver. Um, phosphorus we need. Oh, I didn't do the phosphorus decomposing, did I? Okay. Well, we need some phosphorus. I forgot about that altogether. So that's glowstone. So we'll have to add another machine into that into that system. So let's we'll put this into here for the time being. Take the phosphorus out of there. So we've got oh, we've got some tin. That's silicon, sorry. So we need some tin. Tin, tin. I have to go downstairs and get some tin. In fact, while I'm going downstairs, I might as well put down that other decomposer. So I think it's this one. Put a decomposer on top of it. And on top of that we can then take the cables and bring a an export bus as opposed to a fluid export bus. We've got two good. 
put that into there and then we can of course oh well that was clever I didn't take any glowstone with me at all okay never mind we'll have to do the we'll get it we'll get it set up anyway can we get the glowstone in a minute as we need tin to be before we can even do to make that so let's get on with this one like that so tin I think we should basically have in air all of these machines there's 64 let's take half of that it'll fill up anyway with more tin I think so let's go upstairs and make that ingot of that we need to make so what was it now oh the books in here of course this books in here don't need that book so we need I've forgotten aluminum so that was basically this one wasn't it blocks ingots 12 for one okay 12 of these oops I'm not thinking that's half that 12 of those four of these five and one of these should work and therefore in here we should be getting a couple of fingers of that perfect so we can now put that into the book here and then we've got our recipe set up okay good take that out so now what we need to do of course is to get the uh, glowstone again and if I don't know if I've got enough glowstone to be honest with you 3,000 is probably going to be a bit tight I'm not sure I want to use all my glowstone up making this type of stuff it's probably a bit probably a bit over the top let's anyway let's carry on and do that so that'll start now put into that all of this get that going and then that'll come out into here so we should then be able to put this recipe into here well that's probably the one I want to actually have to set up now don't I so look yeah put the lumen ingots in here like that and then we should start to get those to be made and of course I've got to go down one block oh okay that's uh, sort of okay well, let's put the transfer node on the bottom of this and that'll actually make about 64 before we actually have to do anything else which is fine for the time being we can put the floor back again now of course right so that's that bit done uh, one more thing I'm missing of course was power I didn't remember that straight away so I looked at it and that's where I go yep that's definitely working and we shall wait and see come back again and see if that actually gives us our 64 that we actually need so that's that process automated the next process we're going to automate let's have a look at these hole how many holes we got now of course they're going straight into the system aren't they are we getting close sixty two two more to go right that's good because that means it gives us enough time to automate the next process the next thing I want to automate is this I don't like this at the moment this is just I'm using a chest here so let's remove the chest and then we can remove this pipe we don't need this pipe what we can do is we can bring this down here like this and put into that an import an export bus again another export bus fortunately we've got one left and we'll just connect that up in fact actually I don't want an export bus in here I want an ME, an ME interface so let's make see if we've got one of those available import buses export buses sort that so no I don't have any there I might have to make one I don't see any in there either we've still got a couple of chests to look in of course that one and that one 
don't know why I've got all these pipes in there, a bit strange. No, nope, I don't see an ME interface there. Okay, so we have to make an ME interface. We should be able to do that, no problem. Let's come back here. Make a couple of those. Oh, fortunately, it was just iron ingots. Okay, that's uh, interesting. And we'll just craft those to the flat ones. So we've got that, and then we need a pattern, don't we? So we'll pattern. I've got patterns here already. One pattern, blank pattern already. Go, that's fine. Because what I'm going to do is to tell it to make. Oh, in fact, it's not that one. I've got to use a compressor, but. For the sake of it, I'm going to do it this uh, this way as well, so because we can make plates and stuff like that here, then. How many import buses are there? They are the big ones. So we can put that on there like that, and then we can take the the only glass cable and bring it across here like this. So that then connects in there. So we can then put recipes in here. They will then come into the machine. Now the problem is here, you've got different modes. You've got rolling cutting and extruding so really I'd need three metal formers for this to work properly but for the time being we'll just live with the one metal former and see if we can get it to work and do most of the stuff that we need it to do um, now let's have a look we should have our 64 holes now indeed we have so now with our 64 holes we should be able to claim that reward uh, that quest. Which one is it? Take flight? No. Improvements? No. Here we go. This one. Let's detect that one and claim our reward, which is a loot chest. How about and experience? Oh, another set of experience. So I've got 18 exp XP here. Let's just get rid of that. If I can, that is. Because this thing is looking oh, a bit full, but we just made it. So what do we get in that loot chest? Let's have a look. Hopefully some nice AE2 stuff. A reservoir. Okay, that's not too bad. Because we've got three of the four reservoirs we need. Let's put the reservoir up here. Yeah. If I get a fourth, then we've got an infinite water source. Slow, but an infinite. So that's pretty good. I'm not sure if there are any more quests for the reservoir. Just whether they come in loots loot bags so right so let's have a look at the next quest that we've got to do or we can do so that's opened up this one well that was open before the assembly machine now we're looking here I've got plenty of unrefined dash so what can we do with that unrefined dash because we cause remember I, the last time I did uh, oh, we've got lots of fluids crystals as well um, last time this is going down very fast I don't like it going down so fast um, I wonder if there's any other sources of glowstone it's worrying me a bit this because we need some glowstone we don't want to use it all up in the system um, oh, sorry I got distracted with that thinking about the glowstone let's just do that look at that quest again oh the assembly machine yes that's right now that requires 32 blocks of dash. Let's have a look what we've got in here for dash. I've got 15 in here. Plus this lot in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come along and smelt these down too. Blocks of dash. In fact, I think we have enough blocks of dash to do what we need to do now. So here's our, here's our oven here. Let's shove everything in there. In fact, I think I might have already... Nope. I thought I'd get it already in there, so let's push those in there. So we've gone, these will come through fairly fast. fast. 27. Okay, we're going to find out how many blocks of dish we've got. I think I bought these somewhere safe, actually, ready for the, this episode. Yeah, 32 blocks of dish. Fantastic. Right, now, let's have a look. What do we have to do for the uh, assembly machine? It was 32 blocks of dish. We don't need this one anymore. And 32 advanced circuits, this was the one. So we need 32 lapis lazuli. 
and all of this stuff works a lot right okay this is the hard bit so lapis lazuli plate isn't a big deal because we can get that from these shift that down we get a scope of 64 that will be fine these 64 we can go and compress so they're not a problem just getting through the doorways is of course so the compression is here so we can no that's the block cutting machine here's the compressor i can compress these across now i'd basically set up this path again to feed anything into this block cutting machine to cut up some more metal plates in fact let's get these cooked because i think there's no other use for them except for them to be done like that So that's working away reasonably slowly because I've got 64 anyway. So next problem is, of course, the usual problem. We have to make 64 sets of circuits. So that means we need three stacks of copper of copper wire. So let's have a look for that. We've got almost one stack there, plus 256. I've got a silly sort on this. So that's there, copper ingots. So what we'll do is we'll come along here now as we will compress. I think it's, let's have a look. I want to set this to extrusion mode here. So I'm going to extrude. What we're going to set up is recipe for wire. So wire is, if I remember right, let's have a look at the uses of that. It, oops, wrong one. Type. there we go the uses of this in the metal former shapeless crafting no nope. metal former gives us three wires so let's get the three wires out of here and let's create a recipe for that now so we basically say one ingot oh, I'll put it in the top left hand corner I'll give us three couple of wires as a process set it up here create that process button so now we can go and put this process button in here so we need 130 or something like that pieces so we can put this into here down like that so let's go and create tell it to do these these wires for us so wires I've got a wire there. Must have. Oh, sorry. Cable. So we've got 56. So we need 8. Plus 128 is 136. And that should give us our three stacks. So well, we might, we can take away two. But I'll leave those two there for the time being. So let's tell it to make. Now we should be able to. Where are those wires? Cable's gone again. Shift those out of there and tell it to craft 136. And that's going to require four deep six pieces of copper. And that should uh, we'll put those back into there. We don't need those now, of course. And so this should be working. We should be getting our copper being made in here like this. And indeed we are fantastic. So that's not going to take too long. So the next thing, of course, is rubber. Let's go downstairs and see. Oh, we've always got a problem with rubber in this pack, haven't we? So the rubber production is over here. I'm not sure how much I've got in there. 15. Not very many. So we need three stacks of this stuff. So I was using methylene, wasn't I, from the water production, which should be coming into one of these. That's water. That's just a spare chest. I was pushing stuff through. All right, we've got a th nearly 1,600. Let's take a few of these out of here. How many have we got? Six. No, five stacks. Four stacks. So basically, I want to force this into here. Okay, let's go and get a chest and put them on there. In the meantime, we'll get this stuff being made. Oh. 
okay yes that's fine that's producing nitrate so let's go upstairs now and get another chest if I could take one of these but it's going to be a bit messy I don't know if I've got a chest in here or not no I haven't I've got one on me look I need two on me but there we are fact we do definitely need two on us let's go over here and check this stuff out as well 20 ingots now so that is definitely working slowly but it is working yep so i'll have to go and get another chest Twenty-seven chests. Right, so we've got our chest now, and what I want to do is oh yes, I should have brought something else, shouldn't I? I want to feed this automatically on the top. Let's put this on the top of this. I wonder if I can reach it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, perfect. So now I can put the methylene in here, like that. And we need a servo. Oh, I've got one here handy, which is just a bit of luck. Let's turn that on. So that's going to put, start putting into here mesaline. Now we also need to take out here the nitrates because we don't need those. And we're also going to have to remove some of the carbon, I think. So let's take those upstairs and put those away somewhere. In fact, is it nitrate here? Yes. Let's put that away. And the carbon we could also get rid of in here as well. Even though we've got a space upstairs. So what I'm going to do here is I've got plenty of tin and plenty of magne magnesium. I'm going to double check this again. It's a bit slow. What's wrong with this? Well, that's full up of good. That's full up of silver, good. I don't think we need to worry about that, does it? So we've got copper. What are we short of? Tin. So we could make the tin go a bit faster. Let's go and get our stack upgrades that we've got. In fact, a stack upgrade in each of those might not be such a bad idea. We've got four. Let's make some more stack upgrades. Using the non ridiculous recipe. Oops. That should give us eight. Let's go and have a look. The reason I don't think that recipe is particularly good is because, well, really this these are sort of early games stuff aren't they so it's not even it oh, transfer pipes are generally early game i don't consider transfer pipes to being late game really i think there are other better better mechanisms and i think using that many diamonds at early games a bit over the top for us okay that's got a stack upgrade in it that one's got a filter but we can put a stack grade up in that one this has got a stack, right, that's the tin one, that was the important one. And the copper's already got it in anyway. So now, let's go and have a look. I might need a speed upgrade in this. Because the tin is taking a long time to get across. So let's go and do that as well. They're looking a bit yellow, so look, what's we got going on here? Oh, well, that's got plenty of space. So is that one, actually. That one's full of types. And that one's just about full of types. Okay. I think that was just a backlog. Have we got speed of grids on me? Oops. So. Oh, yeah, wrong place. That's copper. We don't really care about copper at the moment, which is just the tin we're worried about to get this aluminum done a bit faster. So I'll put a couple of speed upgrades in there, and you'll see that starts to go through a lot faster now, as it's got to go all the way into this machine. It doesn't even seem to be finding it for some reason or other. 
is the a problem with the tin Let's see what we'll do I got I saw some glowstone down here in this chest let's just put some glowstone in here I'll move that over there oh that's oxygen tins this one well I didn't even see it go towards that one actually let's come back again here and put some more speed upgrades in this like all of them seems to be working here but doesn't seem to be oh yes why is that not coming down into this one oh yeah that's okay that's iron that's fine let's just remove this see if we get any more tin into that because it should come in here I don't see any reason for it not to come in there oh there we go so it is working just fine it's just a bit slow okay now put a load of speed upgrades into that anyway so to actually sort that out better I'd have to move the tin down into production to a different place but I think we'll live with it so look how many have we got now 26 27 all right it's going up slowly so that's going in the right direction fortunately so now let's go and check the wires that we needed it was cables wasn't it 138 plus 56 194 we need 192 to make three stacks so now we just need 192 rubber which is going to take a very long time and I'm just wondering next thing I'd have to automate to make this a bit more e a bit easier is this well I wonder if we can automate this so something for me to think about between episodes it would be nice to do it I'm not sure if it's possible because uh, we want to get those assembly machines we want to get this thing done so we just need these advanced 32 so we need 64 that's no problem about those already and aluminum blocks on the way so it's just the rubber stuff at the moment which is going to be a bit of a, a which is slowing us down so until next time i hope you've enjoyed this we shall, i'll see you then bye for now